Hey guys! Sure it has been a while, huh? Well, <laughs> that's an awkward way to start this video. Anyway, to the Minecraft fans, or Minecraft players who, who are still interested in Minecraft, um, I recently got a newfound interest in it. Uh, I got a little story to tell you. Basically, I really like Minecraft. Uh, I like the NPC villages as well, find them really interesting and stuff, and, and, and cool to build a house next to you or inside and try to defend it and stuff. But, I found it a shame that there were no uh, villages in the snow biome, and, the, and any other biome at that. Well, I do have a solution for the snow biome. I tried to make a village uh, in the snow biome. Now, I have two versions. One of one of them is the one without a wall surrounding it. Uh, why why would I make a wall surrounding it? Yeah, yeah, I'm already, like, flying above it. I'm sorry if you don't like it like this. The spawn point is where I'm pointing at right now. Over there. Then, uh, here is here is this village that I made uh, in any way. Um... As you can see, they're not normal houses, they're actually igloos. Fully functional igloos, and the guys, well, and the NPCs actually go to the igloos when it's night and stuff, so they see it as their house. I just spawned in some NPCs and apparently it works. So let's take a look. Time set night. In this version, without walls, the, villa the villagers do tend to die really goddamn quickly. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. So now they're all tr rushing inside, pretty much. As long as there's a door, they'll try to go through it, pretty much. So yeah, these igloos from the inside, they're kind of cool. Uh, I, I guess these guys will close the door for me. Yep, they will. <laughs> there are some beds in here, some chests with items that I put there. I try to uh, look up the normal items that you can usually find in chests. Uh, there's actually a lighting system, which you can turn off and on. I decided to mess around with the redstone for a little bit. I don't know if you like it or not. Um, well, there are also like some smaller ones. For some reason, there are like five people in this in this smaller one, whereas there are only two beds. Again, a chest, a lighting system. Now, I couldn't I couldn't bring the torch up one block because then the igloo would start uh, would start melting. Yeah, I had to I had to do a lot of things to light up this place properly without uh, the igloos melting pretty much because that was a huge issue. Well, you close the door for me, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And if you're wondering, hey Arda, why is it snowy inside? Well, that's because of these fellas. Oh, seems like they're battling something, or he's battling something. As you can see, I'm using some, I'm using various mods right now. Anyway, again, lighting system. This turns off half of the lights. I couldn't make it so that it turns off all of them. So if you press the, if, if you press the other one, then it turns off the other one as well. Well, the other four or five, whatever. You see, you see what I have to do. I just, I just leave it on because it looks kind of cool. Again, here a lighting system on the floor. Uh, again, a chest. So these are just the regular igloos. And if you're wondering, hey, what is that other house? That big wooden house that I saw there. Well, I can show you. So as you can see, the, the zombies are now like breaking down the doors and shit like that. So usually this village doesn't last at night if there are a lot of mobs, and there are a lot of mobs in this dark area. Now here's the other place, as you can see, a little farm. It's pretty cool, huh? There's a cow on my farm, which I don't really like. Did he get out of my... Did he get out of the, uh, the mob farm? I don't know. Here's another farm. Potatoes, if you're wondering. I tried to, like, make it look a little bit similar to the, uh, regular... Oh, what's that? That's a zombie. Why do you look so weird? He looks different for some reason. Anyway, you have fun with that. <laughs> Do villagers turn into zombies when they die from a zombie? I don't know, you guys tell me. Um, so yeah, this, this is like some... You, you, can, you can see it as like... The... As like... The town hall. That, that might be a good word. The town hall with like some sort of tower from which you can like look around. Uh, if you actually do decide to download this map, uh, you might find some weird structures and stuff, like castles and shit like that. Don't pay too much attention to that, it's because of a mod that I'm using. You might as well find it fun, I mean, there's some there's some loot in, in chests to, to be found there as well. Anyway, so that is the version without walls. I can show you the version with walls now. Personally, my favorite, well, my, my favorite version, because the villagers don't die, and you can choose, uh, and, and you can choose how you want to defend this village, or if you want to just abandon it. You can break the walls if you if you want. As you can see, I built these sort of like outer walls. I think it looks kind of cool, and, and the villagers don't have a way out right now. Uh, they can't fall off and stuff. Uh, as you can see, the villagers, oh no, what am I saying? The zombies can't get in. They're all trying to get, you know, they're, they're all trying to get there, but they can't get in. And as you can see, this is the, uh, the system, because the sun is rising, the, uh, the lights, 
turn off automatically, which I think is kind of a cool invention. Well, not really my invention. So yeah, the zombies can get in. There is enough light uh, for the igloos not to melt, but also for the zombies not to spawn. You guys tell me if you would want if you would want to see a link to this in the description. Uh, please tell me. And also if you would want the link for both versions or just one version. Uh, I mean, I put, I, put, I put a lot of hours into this. A lot. <laughs> a couple of hours into this. I, I find it pretty cool, uh, in my opinion. This this is cool to get, yeah, this is cool to help you get started I guess now if you download the version with walls I'm very sorry but my mod decided to do something again I'll quickly go over it this is what my mod decided to make a big ass motherfucking fort a pretty dark area as well uh, now if you are not using the, the same mod as I am then obviously these mobs over here will not be here what are these these are shades, right? I don't know, walkers, walkers. For some reason, they're all trying to kill something. Or they're trying to get inside or something like that. Ah, that's a walker. <laughs> so yeah, these mobs will obviously not be here, but it'll still be dark enough for skeletons and shit to spawn. Uh, obviously, if you can manage to climb this entire place, and god damn it, this, this thing is fucking epic. Now, let's take a look. This seems to be one of the upper rooms. There should be there should be like chests and shit like that. There's actually a boss in the mod that I'm playing as well, but I'm not really going to go over that. Uh, let's take a look. Is this a chest? No, it's it's like an it's like a watch out post <laughs> or something along those lines. Anyway, I I really want to find a chest because I do want to show you guys. So give me a second. I'll go look for it. Oh, here's a chest. I think. The higher you get, the better the items are. Obviously, two of these items are mod items, but you, yeah, you, you probably won't be able to see them if you play this without the mod. If you're wondering, hey, what mod are you using? I'm using the... Uh, oh, that's a toilet, I presume. I'm using the uh, Better Dungeons mod. Uh, A.K.A. Chocolate Quest or some, some shit like that. It's pretty cool. As you can see, some pretty cool stuff, huh? What? what uh, I don't know. <laughs> I find it cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please tell me if you would want to download to either one of these maps. Or, or both of them, I mean... At first, I, first, I do want to know whether you guys would be potentially interested in this or not. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.